All right, we are back. Okay. So, Viper, what are you gonna do about all these bugs? <laughs> Take out the biggest fly swatter that we have. I think um, Viper is the fly swatter. In a manner of speaking, yes, because I still have decent seas axe in my backpack. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, Hell yeah. I'm, I'm doing an action called uh, Handle Item to uh, draw that axe. Mm hmm. And then I'm gonna commence chopping. Okay. <laughs> Whom are you going to chop first? Um. Probably, I think, take like a. Uh, Nah, I'm just gonna go for one of the big ones right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the the top one there. <coughs> All right. Uh, and I'm just gonna heave ho two hand this axe. So it's still only a twelve ticket. <laughs> Even holding it two handed. Oh wait. Uh, that just increases damage, right? Uh, well, it makes you count as one strength higher. Or, sorry, like, it, you, you count as two strength higher, so... Right, so... Then that would be one, that would be a 13 instead of a 20. Okay, you hit. All right. On the big one. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, it's uh, armor, piercing, armor piercing two. Mm-hmm. And gonna be... 11 damage. 11. That is the upside. Oh. Um, to big old targets is that they're easy to hit. For once, it's actually working for us. Okay, so it takes 10 points of damage. And let's see if it makes its first damage save. <coughs> it does not. Immediately fails its damage save. So. I will add that half heart token. All right. Do you have that? That's it, right? That's it. That's two half actions. Yeah, Dorothy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> she she, she, lay, she lays the axe into that thing's face and, and says, uh, "Dorothy, you got any?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast less. So everyone within the purple. So everyone will get a plus one magic bonus uh, to hit, and also there's one other thing. With attack checks and will saves. Okay. Um, and I have one level of... Oh, wait. Ten... I might actually make that with the... <laughs> with the bless bonus? With the bless bonus. <laughs> Wait. No, it's a level one spell. No. Okay. One level of uh, tainted. Okay. And is that a half action spell or a full action spell? It's a half action spell. Right. But um, you can only cast yeah. once per turn. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to drop my mage kit and pull out my shield. Which is also a mage kit. <laughs> Which is also a mage kit. It's just not masterwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does and that has the benefit of uh, keeping things from hitting me? Mm -hmm. What does your masterwork mage kit? Oh, I do actually have double cast, so I can cast a spec my second spell during a round. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna save that though. You got any See, no, no, I, I want my shield. <laughs> wait, 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 no. <laughs> do, do you have any AoE spells? Area of attack? Yeah. Me, um... Other than flare and bless? Like, any attack damaging area spells? I do, but I don't have access to them yet. Mm. Okay. 
give me one level and I'm gonna burn this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you keep saying. Just give me one level and then I'll be a real wizard. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a real boy. <laughs> okay. All right. It is uh, the big boys' turns. Okay. Um. So, let's see. What are they all gonna do? Uh, this one moves forward here. Uh, this one moves here. Um, and then the two that moved enter, um, what's it called? Open Stance, uh, which is from Wrestling Basics. Which, um, once per round, when you have two hands free and an opponent misses you with a melee or unarmed attack, you may immediately grapple or trip him as a free action. You may not take move actions other than the five foot step. They don't have hands. Um, and then the two that are next to, <laughs> um, Viper and the one that is next to Foxglove also enter that stance. Um, and... Then they are going to attack their uh, respective things. So, uh, Viper. Let's see. Um, you are going to get two claw attacks on you, from, uh, one from each of them. And then Foxcliff will get a single claw attack. Number is 21 because I do have my shield out. This time. Okay. That's a miss. The second one is a hit. Is that a crit? Is that a crit? That is not a crit. It crits on 20. It got a 19. And then the one attacking Foxglove, whose defense is. Uh, which one is attacking it? The is big it one. The, the, the one that she's underfoot? Yep. Yeah. Um, her defense for them is 20... 26. 26. Okay. Misses. Okay, so the only thing that happens is Viper... Um, this thing, like, slams one of its massive claws into you. Mm -hmm. And hits you for... Um, 1d10 plus 3, 13 points of damage. Oh, nice. Minus your damage reduction. There's no armor okay, piercing. Okay, so 11 points of damage then. Yeah. That knocks me down to 61 vitality. Okay. Uh, and now it is Dog's turn. What's Dog gonna do? Um, I just realized that certain things should be bigger, but I'll get back to that. I thought I thought when they're talking about area of effect, they're talking about um, diameter, but it's radius. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Dog. Let's go down the dog. Um. Going to bite the big one in front of it twice, maybe. <laughs> oh well, make make the first attack, and then and then make an athletics check. I thought it was only if you miss. Yeah, yeah. Assuming you miss, that is true. Uh... Wow, presumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Okay, well... Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that is indeed a miss. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to make this one. So their athletics... Oh, well, 17. That's still... Wow. What, <laughs> what athletics rating does Dog have? I don't remember, but it adds up to a plus 7. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, a plus... 14 bonus. Hmm. Tie, which goes to the attacker. So, 
dog tries to bite this thing. I'm trying to picture how a scorpion can grapple with a dog, and I'm not, it's not, like, fitting together in my brain. I think the thing just, like, wraps its claw around dog, like, bodily. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> that's and... okay. Guy got good athletics. And that's dog's turn. That's true. If anybody can wiggle out of it unscathed, this dog. <laughs> I guess so. I don't think that dog Also, will... once in a grapple, dog will be getting a huge bonus for being so much smaller. No. Oh, wait, wait we no. forgot. No. Did Other you... way around, initiating the grapple is hard against a small one. Yeah, oh, did you take that into account? I did not. So that means dog is actually free still, because it breaks the tie. Trying to cheat again, aren't you? Yep, that's me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Austin, known cheating GM. Mm-hmm. Um, 24 to hit. That's a hit. Oh wait, that's a. I think that's a. Yeah, that's a crit actually, and I'm activating that. You're activating that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I think dog just like rips one of the legs off of this thing. Good boy. Or girl. <laughs> dog Good says dog. no pets. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's still alive. Well, that's not my damage roll. Uh, you don't it's a standard character so you don't oh okay right right yeah right, yeah right. activating a crit just removes one of its damage saves excellent yeah uh but these things are tough okay um so it's dog's turn then so it is now the comparatively speaking little scorpion's turns which are just... still bigger than dorothy Okay, um, so let's see, where do they go, what do they do, um, let's see, they, these ones move up the hill to engage your crew, um, Six, seven, eight. One of them's coming for V. Um, Bold. Sleep. Two of them. And then Greg is getting surrounded. Okay. The ones that are next to Viper uh, enter open stance. And. Uh, then they attack. Uh, one at one claw attack each. I'm okay with claws. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, and your defense. Four misses. Four 21. misses. <laughs> Closest they got was a twenty. Alright, but they are that not... One, that one nipped at my boot a little bit. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's their turn. Uh, it is the crew's turn now. Um, Initiate full panic mood. <laughs> yeah, uh, Greg is freaking the fuck out. Um, <laughs> well, we brought you along, Greg. <laughs> uh, he is going to fire... Uh, his boarding pistol. This is why it's here. <laughs> is for, uh, if things got too close. Well, now they have. So. His attack is one shot. Can he hit the broadside of a scorpion? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> he gets a natural one. <laughs> I'm going to activate that and say he shoots himself in the foot with the boarding pistol. Um, hey, Sasha, what's the damage of a boarding pistol? Oh, that's a bunch. <laughs> it's a large number. 
Sasha, I think you're muted. I didn't hear if you said. Can't hear you. Don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you try leaving the call and coming back in? It's 3d6. Okay, I will roll that while we try and solve these technical difficulties. Alright. Roll 3d6. He does 6 points of damage to himself. You could have been a lot worse. <laughs> 3d6, absolutely. Roll the 3, a 2, and a 1. Um, so, nope, can't hear ya. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I oh, no. that's from my, that's from my webcam. It, you sound okay. Yeah, I guess it's just, huh. Okay, well. We're here now. That's, that's, that's fun, and I love it. Um. Okay, let's see if Greg can survive shooting himself in the foot. He needs to make a DC 13. He fails. Aw, Greg. He, like, blows his own foot off with the boarding pistol. And dies screaming. Great. Oh my god. Great. He dies? Yeah. Not quickly either. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Certainly not gracefully. No. Well, at least he distracted two of the scorpions for a couple rounds. Yeah. We'll miss making fun of you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's hope things go better for the rest of the crew, to say the least. Uh, Lance. Um, what's he going to use? The glaive or the short sword? Uh, it makes me unreasonably upset that he doesn't actually have a lance. Uh, well, Viper doesn't have a snake, so... <laughs> no, Viper has a four pythons. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay. Um, Madam, Madam V's never told a lie. <laughs> hmm. Um, yeah, Lance is going to hack at this thing with his short sword. Um, it's his attack modifier. Four plus five. Oh wait, and he <coughs> did he get training? Yes, yeah, he got Lance, plus Lance, two to attack. Yeah, Lance has seen some action. Yeah, so he's actually got attack six and not four. Don't forget the bless bonus. Right, so he's got plus seven to attacks right now. So, he hits, and he hits. He's chopping at this thing. Uh, for 1d8 damage. <laughs> that does nothing, because he rolls a 1 and he's got damage reduction. And then he gets an 8, so that's... Uh, the second, he got the second one dialed in, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does this thing make its damage save? DC 12. It does. It passes. Uh, okay, so he's hacking at it. He's making some progress. Um, Alright. Maybell fired her crossbow. Uh, she is going to fire her boarding pistol at uh, the big one over um, Greg's screaming form. Oh my god, Greg, just die already. <laughs> He was loud in life, he'll be loud in death. There's nothing we can do to save him either. <laughs> Mechanically, he's gone. Yep. 
Okay. She misses. She does not have very good accuracy. Oh. Uh, no, she still misses, even with the bless bonus, which I forgot to include. Okay, so that's her shot. Um, what's she going to do? Uh, she starts running up the hill. <laughs> good choice. Because she has no other weapons, and the ones she has are unloaded. So she's going to start reloading that crossbow next turn. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. Okay, the guides are going to uh, shoot at the big one. Uh, next to Greg. Um, they got plus two to hit. Or sorry, plus four to hit. Is this the is... Northern are getting in on this action? Or are they, are they like, oh, well, that sparked. Oops, oh no. What's the vibe? Um, yeah, the Northerner is just sort of like anxiously watching. Like the scorpions are ignoring them. And so they, like, have no idea what to do. <laughs> um, they're not, like, interfering either way. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, so that scorpion gets hit twice for a d6. Four and a six. So that's uh, plus three. Will it make its damage save? It does, and then another damage save that is harder. It fails. Okay. So it also gets the half heart symbol. Uh, Billiam is also going to fill it full of arrows. Uh, but he hits once. Does one point of damage, but that is enough to force a damage save. Ooh. Which it fails. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, which kills it. He puts an arrow in its head, and it keels over sideways. William exacting revenge for old Greg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, that's not a good. That's just. It's just. Oh, it's so rough. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Now it's, it's not even a good ballad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. It really is not. Um, okay. Absolutely no way to spin it. <laughs> so now crossbow bolts from uh, the entertainers <laughs> and Tika the fortune teller. Um, which are three attacks at plus four on the little ones mm. directly in front of them. Another natural one in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother activating that. So one of these shots hits. And does one point of damage. Does that, and that forces a damage save. Which it passes handily. Okay, um, and since these are ranged attacks, they don't get... Oh, wait, they're also not in open stance yet. Um, and then... Uh, they're just going to take five foot steps back, nervously. <laughs> um, and start reloading their crossbows. Or actually, no, they drop their crossbows and pull out their daggers. Um, because it things are close now. <laughs> and that's the cruise turn. V, what are you going to do? 
Okay. <coughs> uh, well, I got these two little buddies in front of me, and also this very... Well, the large one just killed over, so I think I'm alright. Um, but I do have these little, little buddies, and also the big buddy over there. Um, so I think I'm gonna start, uh, with, um, uh, goring one of them, and then shooting the other with a gun. Um, is where I'm at at the moment. Sounds uh, good. Sorry, every time I, I close the character sheet, it takes 400 years to uh, come back up. So that's cool. And thanks for a really good radio. One second. I'm having a great time with my internet and also with my mic. And um, <laughs> I'll Do you have to move in a straight line when trampling? Uh, I yes. I believe so. Because I believe it's a variation on the run action. Mm. Well, I'm pr uh, I'm pretty sure my attack uh, with with gentleman moves is just a d20 plus one plus another one from bless, right? That sounds right. So I'm just gonna do that. That's a five. That does not hit. The scorpion jumps aside as the antlers come swinging down. That's a swing and a miss. Okay. Um, I do need, I do need roll twenty to not, um, be messing up with my character sheet so that I can hit the blue button that that tells me how much of a bonus I get from, uh, because I I will I will take that. Uh, well, can I? I don't think I can. Never mind. I was gonna aim, but I don't have that. I do have. Oh, you know what I do have is uh, the trick that makes it so that I'm better at aiming um, when I miss a bunch. So I'm gonna, just going to uh, leverage that right at uh, the scorpion I just tried to hit. Are you going to... I've reached the end of my, of my mapping. I'm very sorry. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. You almost made it all the way to the page loading. <laughs> It was a valiant effort. Much better than Greg. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Three to whatever that is. That's a hit. That might even be um, a crit. Yeah, what's the threat range on that? <laughs> uh, on musket, it... Oh, yeah, that's that's 19 to 20 um, is my threat range, and I will, I will make that a crit. Thank you. Okay, um, and you're shooting at one of the small boys next to you? One of the yeah, little, little, little buddies Okay. Me. Uh, do you delete the one directly in front of you or the one to your right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the one in front of me, I guess. Okay, yeah, you just like blow its front half off with your musket. I think it, I think what happens is, uh, is, is... Uh, Gentleman Moose goes to swipe with the thing, and the, the scorpion just kind of clambers right onto the antlers, and I just kind of clear it off of the antlers. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> nice. I do want to roll damage on that, just to know, though. <laughs> okay. That could, that could happen while the things are happening, I yeah. guess. <laughs> That's the end of my turn, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you have uh, handle item action, so you just, like, immediately start reloading your musket. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Or are you swapping weapons to something loaded? Uh, no, it's it's one of the boarding pistols, um, and um, it's, it's already almost completely loaded, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wild what you can do when you have six hands. That would have been 15. Yeah, that would have been 15 damage. That's a whole lot. But I mean, crit is also a whole lot. True. Okay, what's Foxglove up to? Uh, Foxglove is going to attack the one that she is underneath. Uh, I had a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Suck. Oh, 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 I forgot I had Glinting Madness. Um, 
which is what's per round when you're when one of your attacks renders an opponent unconscious or dead, you may immediately threaten another po opponent as a free action. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Um, oh, I also get a, a crit af what, after I get. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually looking at my character sheet for once. Um, I have the mummified middle, middle finger from the from the the hidden hand, which is after a crit, I get a half action. Um, yeah, so I'd, like shoot, I'd like to shoot. It. I'm so I'm so sorry, Christian. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna shoot again at the other little buddy. At the other little buddy, yeah. Okay. And then we'll we'll see if you just stack up some uh, some threaten actions to so immediately a, follow through with. That's a, that's a twenty three. Um, that's a hit. And then I'll just I'll just roll back it, that, which is a 12, 12 damage. Okay. Let's see if it makes. Oh wait, not twelve. Because uh, you don't have damage reduction, or armor piercing. Armor piercing. Okay, so nine points of damage. Will it make a damage save? Uh, it barely does not. It fails. You blow a hole through this thing too. Who needs oh, armor piercing sorry. when you've got raw damage? Apparently. <laughs> so that's what uh, two free intimidates now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> unless unless is it once per turn or once per round or is it just like whenever you down somebody? Uh, once per round, when one of your attacks once renders an round. opponent. Okay. Uh, so it's just the one. Just the one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna yell at the big one over there. The one I by guess. Lance? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Maybe. Okay. There's another little one directly in front of you, but either of those works. Yeah, but I've, I've taken I've taken two of those out with, with, with one hit each, so I feel like the big ones should probably have some concerns. Yeah. Uh, is that- do I, do I roll threaten? Yeah. Yeah, that's an intimidate roll. Yeah, beautiful. I have no idea why it's so slow. Uh, intimidate versus resolve to inflict stress damage. Which is a 23. Well, you know what skill these things don't have? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they can take stress damage? I thought that they <clears throat> couldn't. Or is that just a duel? Oh, wait, yeah, sparked are immune to stress damage. Ah. And sneak attack damage, right? Yes, and sneak attack damage, and subdual damage. Well, <laughs> at you least can still uh, you can scream at him a bunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's a good thing that you remembered at least the critical, the, the magic item. <laughs> yeah. So I think what that looks like is, uh, you shoot this thing in the head you shoot the first one in the head and then like you find yourself moving unnaturally fast as you like quickly point the boarding pistol at the next one just like blurring matrix style oh yeah <laughs> for like just like a split second that take comes over you as the drake finger on the leather um strip uh like you can feel it warm against wherever you've got it in your pocket or hanging around one of your necks or around a wrist what have you yeah okay now it's foxglove's turn <laughs> i accidentally <laughs> rolled once already uh 17 to hit or i say 18 to hit that's a hit yep and i'm gonna use the um pick on the big guy trick so that will give me plus two to damage uh, before mm -hmm. nine points of damage. Okay, so that's six. Damage save failed. How does Foxglove <laughs> kill this thing? I think it uh, tears away one of its armor plates and just like starts feasting upon the soft innards. Just crawls right inside. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, then she's going to take a five foot step and attack uh, the one parallel to her. Okay. A regular size rat. <laughs> Just killed a scorpion the size of a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Uh, 12. 14? This is the opposite of a problem. Uh, that's a hit, just barely. Never stop being impressed by Fox <laughs> Uh, for four points of damage. Okay, which is one. No. It, also, it, when I level up, I, I realize that there's a something to her build I forgot to add, so she's gonna even become even worse. <laughs> which is what? Um, I'm going to add Nasty Little Git, uh, which is again a second <laughs> die sneak attack damage, and then I'm going to get, uh, you don't get the minus four pack attack penalty with cheap shot trick against medium and larger targets, and then I'm going to get the cheap shot trick. <laughs> what and does just, cheap shot do? I don't remember. The <laughs> point is, she's going to be even more, uh, <laughs> even more for formidable, and if you gave us targets that weren't sparks, she would be a killing machine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Great, it passed its damage save, uh, mm -hmm. so she, like, bites onto the tail or something, but it, uh, She's shakes her off. She's around. Foxglove <laughs> loves cheese crackers and murder. <laughs> and self-defense. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Viper, you're up. Okay. Oh yeah, sneak attack, the famous self-defense move. <laughs> <laughs> it's preemptive self-defense. <laughs> uh -huh. Prophylactic. Uh, Alright, time for some more chopping. Against whom? Uh, the big one in front of me still. Okay. That's 18 to hit, and that one's gonna be... Max damage. Yep, it'll, it's actually 17 damage because I'm two-handing. And then the next attack. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. Let me uh. Okay. Let me see if it makes its damage <laughs> save it against DC one. 18. It does not. And since you already heard it, tell me how you kill this thing. <laughs> Split it in twain. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was literally just axe in the face. Like right, right up in the mandibles, <laughs> buried in there. And then she puts one foot on it and pulls it back out and takes a swing at the one next to it. Just go into town. And does nine damage to that one. <laughs> Doing work. Yes. Okay. Does it make a damage save? It does. Not as effective against this one, but making progress. All right, Dorothy, uh, I'm guessing you're not going to take a five-foot step since you are boxed in. Am I boxed in? No, no, I meant, sorry, that was in reference to Viper. Oh, yeah. So, Viper? Oh, yeah, no, Viper, Viper's stand foot. You want to be stronger, faster, or hardier? Well, Viper is actively fending off attacks from five different giant scorpions. He's like, I don't know, Dorothy, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mages and their thinking. <laughs> um, I will say that... Uh, Plus three bonus. Um, plus three. <coughs> that's not modifier, that's just the uh, base yeah, yeah. number. Yeah. Uh, it would be most effective in either dexterity or constitution. So, dex, uh, dex I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I don't have to roll to cast it, but I do need to... Okay, I passed my will save. <laughs> okay. You are faster now. Yay. <laughs> you feel your uh, hamstrings loosen up. <laughs> uh, and then... 
Of course you cast your spell directly on her ass. Just smack it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can reach, actually. No, Dor <laughs> Dorothy would have to climb like three feet up my leg to reach. <laughs> Solid oak, that is. <laughs> yeah, sure. Magic missile. <laughs> On to. Uh, let's let's see what the field is. Um, these are dead. That's dead. That's dead. So everything surrounding Madame V is dead. Um, I'm going to attack the one that's. I'm gonna check the three that are like right next to the NPCs. <laughs> okay, the w um, the ones next to Foxglove as well. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to attack the first one in the row once. Do I have to determine? Yeah, you have okay. to, you have to state where those spells are going before you roll the damage. Okay, you know what? Just all down the line. Why not? One on each. Mm-hmm. Okay. Six, five, and four. Okay, so that is three, two, and one. And two. Okay, this one. Let's see if they make those damage saves. <laughs> that's a failure. That's a failure. And that's a big old pass. Okay, well, it felt really good for the first one. And not cursed. Okay. So is this the hair thing again, or is it uh, different for these scorpions? It's still hair. You know, why mess with <laughs> something that already works, you know? Okay. I think, the, like, the hair... I forgot I did that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think you can see, like, hair growing out between the plates of their carapace, like weeds poking up through the cracks in a sidewalk. And uh, they just sort of like shiver and then fall over as their bodies have been penetrated by hair. Oh, it's like your hair. Every time he cuts his hair, I have to take out slivers of hair from me. I'm like, my feet. <laughs> You got Endrick's hair, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. My, my magic missile. Really weird glimpse into your y'all's home life just now. <laughs> just <laughs> pulling out deadly hair. I got thick hair. What can I say? It's, uh, a, it's a mortal weapon, is what I'm saying. Okay, it's the big scorpion's turns. Uh, there's only two left. Y'all have done a hell of a job taking them out, right? Yeah, quick. the only one, <laughs> the most amount of damage to our team was Greg. <laughs> who, just, who did it himself? <laughs> he shot his own fucking foot off in a panic. I had, I had, I had one, one, one job for my crew that I said very clearly at the top of this, which was do not embarrass me, and Greg <laughs> boy you okay Viper, the one that's next to you is doing a flurry of attacks, two claws and the tail oh boy, here we go alright, you're immune to poison right? Am I remembering that I, correctly? I don't know. I'm immune to sickened, uh, poison, immune to disease, poison, uh, sneak attack damage. Yeah. Uh, fixated, paralyzed. Damage. Okay. That's good. I don't have to look up what, <laughs> what the poison that these things has does in that Let's case. Take. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So the first 12, that's a miss. I know. Next one, it gets a crit on you with its claw, which I am going to activate. And then the other one is a miss as well, I know, because... Okay, so you are going to take... 
1d10 plus 3 damage to your wounds. 6 points of damage. Uh, minus damage reduction? Yep, minus damage reduction. Okay. 4 points. And then I'm going to give you the back pain to, uh, symbol to represent the level of fatigue you've just gained for taking wound damage. Okay, and then I need you to make an athletics check. Because these, uh, their claws have the grab quality, so if they hit, they get a free grapple check. Boy, okay. I do get a bonus for being smaller than them. <laughs> <laughs> if they're trying to initiate a grapple. Yeah, that's true. The one time that Viper can feel small. This has never happened before. Well, except for Gentleman Moose. So far, but... Gentleman Moose has never tried to wrestle me, I don't think so. That is true. I'm sure Viper has tried to wrestle Gentleman Moose. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's probably also true. <laughs> so it gets a 16 on its athletics check. Okay, and what does fatigue do? Uh, you get um, minus two to your strength and dexterity, and minus five to your speed. So essentially, it's minus one penalty to Might strength and dex. One. Yeah, and you're slower. Right. So the grapple will be this minus one, twenty-five. Twenty-five plus plus my size bonus. Yeah, which will make it twenty-seven. So. Yeah. Okay. So it like. <clears throat> squeezes you with its claw but you're able to like oh are do you like get to force that open <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i think not before you can like feel it like crush your ribs since it did get that crit yeah 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 it got me good <laughs> okay uh but then she yeah she finds the second wind and grabs Grabs the two sides of the claw with two of her other hands and pries it back Oh, open. yeah. Okay. Now the big one up top is going to do uh, two attacks on dog and one on lance. Um, it's going to do uh, the two claws on the dog and the tail on the lance. Okay, so first the claws. That's a 24 and a 20. What's dog's defense rating? And a 13 on Lance. Let me check what his defense is. Lance did bring armor of of the crew yeah. <laughs> to be to be getting wailed on. Lance he is might the one. Actually be above 13. <laughs> also, he's a man at arms, so he is technically a combat class. Yeah, he's got 14 defense. Hell yeah, that's my boy. He just, oh wait, plus his shield, which would bring him up to, I think, uh, 16. Um, yeah, Lance. Yeah, so he deflects that big old claw with, uh, or the tail, actually, it was the tail going for him. So the tail, like, comes stabbing down at him, and he, like, yeah. knocks it aside with his shield. That's a, yeah, that's the good one to deflect. And what's Dog's defense? Um, how do you calculate defense again? I forgot to write it down. What's the defense rating of dog? Four. Four. So the defense is 15, plus any dex mods. No dex mods. And is dog's uh, threat level equal to your level? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Right, because you purchased the uh, special character upgrade. Yeah. So it'll be 15. Okay. Plus dex. Defense 15. Okay, so both of those claws hit dog. Okay, what kind of attack is it? Because dog has a lot of resistances. <laughs> um, his little raincoat. It's like, so natural weapons uh, okay. from monsters are essentially untyped as just like lethal. Like it's okay. not slashing or bludgeoning yeah. or whatever. Okay, well dog has damage resistance one. Okay, so... 1d10 plus 3. Uh, so that's 12 damage and then 5 damage. I already used my ability to get one of us out. Yeah, 
don't worry. Dog has a hundred <laughs> vitality. <laughs> Dog's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna type in does the dog die dot com slash <laughs> fantasy craft the last city. The dog is fine, everyone. <laughs> Um, dog, however, does need to make an athletics check to see if it gets grabbed. Right. And if it passes the first one, it's going to have to make another one. Athletics 14. <coughs> How many size categories difference is there? Uh, right. Uh, two. Uh, 29 and 29. I, uh, plus the size difference. Yeah, so it'd be 33. I feel like I should get those. into a grapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog just deftly it gets slammed about by these claws, but does not get snagged by them. Yeah. Okay, speaking of dog, it is dog's turn. What does yeah. dog do? A bite. Dog does a bite. Alright, roll that attack roll. Against this big old bug. Twenty. That's a hit. And then damage one D eight plus three. For seven points of damage. Okay. Uh, plus seven, so it needs to make. Let's see if it fails that damage save. Uh, it does not. No, oh, wait. I forgot to include armor, so it actually. Yeah. I mean, it still passes. Oh, I got a natural one. Okay. Um. I'm not going to activate that. Okay. Don't make that dog bite Lance. <laughs> uh, so that's also an athletics <laughs> roll, right? Uh, yeah, because... Yeah. Missed. Natural 20. <laughs> it, it can't beat that. <laughs> dog gets a 34 athletics result. What would happen if I activated that? There is, I don't think there is a benefit for is. critting oh, okay. on grapple. Fine. Never mind if you're the defender in a grapple. That's a 38 if you take into account the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dog does two bites and one of them hits. All right, now dog, it's... The dog is like a greased spaghetti noodle when you try to grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Greased up pupper. Okay. All right, Viper, you got a whole lot of attacks coming your way. That's cool. Um, you have. Uh, it's twenty three now, thanks to the uh, increased dex bonus. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's going to be nine attacks against you, and then Dorothy, you're going to have three attacks against you. What did I ever do? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong in my entire life. Okay, so... All right. One... Two, that's a... One, one miss, one hit. A miss. So that's the first scorpion has hit once. With a claw. <laughs> Second scorpion... Oof. Uh, crits with a claw. I'm gonna activate that. Oof. Uh, misses with the tail. Third scorpion. Uh, hits with a claw. Misses with a claw. Misses with the tail. Okay. So two normal hits and one crit, all from claws. On, uh, Viper. So, oh wait, this is different damage. I want to start rolling the, uh, big boy's damage. No, we have... Yes, no, let's not do that. Yeah, no, these things are smaller <laughs> and do less damage. 1d6 plus 3, so we'll do the stuff to your vitality first, which is a 6 and a 5 minus your damage reduction. Alright, so it'll be 
four and three, so it's seven. Okay. And then you take four points directly to the wounds. Okay. Okay, and then Dorothy. That's uh, the one is coming at you. Oh, actually, one of those... Wait. Yeah, you can be flanked, right, Viper? Yes, Viper can be flanked. Okay, so one more of them actually hits you. Uh, with... Okay, yeah. Yeah. With a claw. Or no, with a tail. It was a tail that hits you, which does different damage. For seven points of damage. Okay. Okay. Forty-seven. Dorothy. Three attacks. What's your defense? Fourteen. Fourteen. First claw hits. Second claw hits. Third, uh, the tail hits. Okay. Okay. Time for Viper to roll some reflex saves. <laughs> Oh. Oh, honestly, <laughs> don't worry about it. I can't be killed unless I'm destroyed, so. Oh, you can't be poisoned either. Nope. Okay, whatever. Fuck yeah, it. don't don't worry about me. <laughs> so you are not, in fact, defending your. <laughs> you're not body bodyguarding. I am. I am not bodyguarding Dorothy at this time. That's fine. Okay, so the first claw. Uh, does. Seven points of damage minus any damage reduction you have. Do you have any damage reduction? I'm looking. Don't think you have any inherent. No. Um, are these electric, electric attacks? No. Okay. It's just lethal. Uh, so it's 7 damage from the first claw, 8 damage from the second claw, and 10 damage from the tail. Okay. I'm fine. And then you're going to need to make two <laughs> athletics checks. No. <laughs> <laughs> what then? Can you do that? Can you just do that? <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> I mean, it seems like an abuse of the X card to just be like, no, I don't get hit. I get, like, real triggered when, like, things happen to my character. <laughs> See, uh, I, can't, I can't handle the number going down. That's bad for me, personally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I got 15, 11... And six. Fifteen. Oh, you only had to make two of them, so we'll oh, only okay. take the first two. Thank you. Um. Okay. And these are these medium-sized scorpions. Yeah. So Dorothy gets a plus two on hers. Yeah, I can still only get max fifteen though, because I don't have athletics. Okay. So you are you are grabbed. Um, That's fair. Yeah. Um, did I? Oh. The claws. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake. It's not every time you miss, right? I keep forgetting this. It's once per round. So, uh, you got grabbed. You you are grabbed by this scorpion. Okay. Um, we've got other little scorpions to deal with. Uh, this one. Is um, in front of Gentleman Moose. Is, hmm, is going to. Let's see. Scuttle down and attack Tika. Make a move and then make a <coughs> claw attack. And then the other one is going to make three attacks against Foxglove. Very dare it. So the one attack against Tika, 14, what is, what is a fortune teller's defense? Probably not great. You'd be surprised. 
actually. It's really it's pretty <laughs> high <laughs> comparatively. Uh, Sixteen is Tika's oh. defense. Wow. War ward is four okay. armed. What's good? That's true. Yeah, guess, she yeah. sees it coming. Uh, yeah, I think I think V. If you were like watching closely, you can see her dodge <laughs> the the blow before it begins. Um, and then foxglove, claw, claw, tail. Okay, um, I'm activating that. That one on the second yeah. claw. Yeah. Okay, um, and what's foxglove's defense like? Uh, Foxglove's defense is 22. Okay, so the first claw hits. Um, and then... Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Figure out what the uh, rest of this is. So Foxglove takes 8 points of damage from the claw. Um, and then... Make an athletics check for Foxglove. Fo <laughs> the scorpion gets a nine because it rolls a natural one, but there's no. Uh, 15. Yeah, okay. So Foxglove does not get grabbed. And uh, tell me how Foxglove judos this scorpion and it becomes <laughs> sprawled. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think that it's not that spectacular, unfortunately. I think while the scorpion is punching and grabbing, Fox Club just does some fancy footwork and the scorpion kind of like trips over its many feet and uh, tail and, and, and gets... Uh, does does Foxglove like dart up under it and it tries to chase her under itself and just sort of flips itself over? Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> I do enjoy the the uh, the the mind picture of a rat hip throwing a jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So Amber's gonna move in, seeing the chance with this one on the ground. Uh, Billiam is going to join the fray um, and get in close. Actually, no, Billiam still has his bow out, so he's not gonna do that. Um, and in fact, Greta's gonna take a five foot step back, leaving Tika alone with the scorpion. Um, but a lot of them are going to shoot at it. Um, so, what? What? <coughs> the hell was that? I must have clicked something. Weirdly. Okay. Um, Curious because nothing changed on our end. <laughs> yeah, a new tab <laughs> opened from a vast? I don't know. Okay, so a uh, whole bunch of bow attacks coming at the one next to Tika. That's a hit. That's a miss. That's a hit. That's a hit. Alright. So actually I'm just gonna... Yeah. 3d6 damage for three hits. Uh, one of them does no damage and then it's a two and a one. It's two. See if it how its damage save goes. <laughs> it fails. The very first arrow that hits it just goes right through its head, killing it. So, uh, I gotta say our crew uh, shockingly competent so far, <laughs> except for Greg. <laughs> Real highs and lows this uh, combat yeah. <laughs> from the squad. Um, in that case, uh, okay, Tika can't get to that one. Um, Midnight. <laughs> Midnight wanted you to look at that. 
Okay, uh, let's see. What is your entertainer's attack bonus? Pretty low, I think. Plus two. Oh, wait, but then they got upgraded because they were training with Maybell. Mm hmm. So that's three. So they got attack three. So plus four, that's okay. Eleven. I think that's a crit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a crit with a dagger. Anyone want to activate that? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so Amber, like, very nervously with a, a, <laughs> <laughs> with a dagger, <laughs> they, like, approach this thing and just start, like, stabbing downwards at it with, like, hammer blows with the dagger. And the first one, it just, like, skitters aside. And then the like, covering their eyes with another hand and just... <laughs> stabbing blindly. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, truly like, you got this, sweetie! <laughs> at, oh, what's even better is that this scorpion is, like, flipped on its back, so it's not even dodging mm -hmm. the first hit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just miss. Uh, but then they get it right in its soft underbelly with the second one and, like, drag the knife down and open it up. And it's dead. So I'm looking at grapple benefits, <laughs> and I can't get the image out of my head of Foxglove running over to uh, it's Dorothy's grapple, and then fucking yeeting that scorpion, because <laughs> if you win, you can throw them. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I want this really badly. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, Billiam is going to five foot step and then shoot two arrows at one of the scorpions next <coughs> next to uh, next to Viper. That's a hit and a hit. Pretty good with that bow of his. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the first one just bounces off of its armor. Doesn't don't arrows have AP two? You're right. They do. The first one does not bounce off of its armor. Um, <laughs> it does one point of damage. And does this thing make its damage save? It does make its initial one, but then the follow-up one... Uh, plus four. It does pass its second one. Okay. So yeah, there's arrows sticking out of this one by Viper. But it's still fighting. V, you're up. What are you going to do? I am up. Well... The field in front of me has been cleared, which is real nice. Um, <laughs> cleared as in no active combatants. There's still lots of bodies. Lots and lots of bodies, yeah. Uh, Including Greg, who's still making noise. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me, that's gross. Um... <laughs> Well, let's see. I could I could help out um, Lance and, and and the good dog, or I could I could aim down the hill uh, for uh, for the for the the bugs around Viper. Um, if I well, I know historically if I miss on Viper, uh, she's gonna be fine. So um, <laughs> yes, fine. Well get another hole in my forearm here. <laughs> better better your forearm than, than Lance's skull, is what I'm saying. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? True. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna aim uh, for... I'm gonna take my, my musket and I'm gonna aim at um, the big one. Um, the big one by Lance or the big one by Viper? By Viper. <laughs> okay. And I'm um, using that old attack trick. Uh, so, um, so between your height advantage and this thing being big, 
uh, Viper, it, it does not block your shot at all. Sweet. Um, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So I just... Um, I got caught up because I uh, still do have just a ton of free actions. Can I use free actions for g shooting? Uh, or is that for handling items? That's yeah, handling you, items. yeah, because you have quick draw and then you have multi limp, both of which give you free a uh, handle item actions. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, but I have aimed, so that's a plus one to hit. Yep, and you've got bless. Yep. So that's plus two, um, and papa. <laughs> 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 That's a natural one. You gonna activate that also? Of course. <laughs> How many times in one campaign? <laughs> That feels like an accident, but this feels like maybe <laughs> starting to feel intentional. Well, maybe you should take off that target tattoo. <laughs> just the, it, uh, the concentric lines are just not working for you here, honey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, roll damage on Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. Does that have armor piercing? It's just lethal. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> it was just lethal. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> you know that, that puts okay. me down to thirty-eight vitality. You know that thing where you're like, don't. <laughs> Don't do the thing, don't do the thing, don't do the thing, don't do the thing, don't, don't do the thing! Yep, did the thing. Yeah, then you're thinking so hard about doing the, not doing the thing that you do the thing, in fact. <laughs> God damn it. So where does this one hit? <laughs> um... I think it probably, like, clips you in the shoulder. Because she was trying to like essentially shoot over you to hit the scorpion, and yeah. it's know. not it's nothing major because this is just vitality damage. It's not wounds, so yeah, <laughs> it's like scary more than actually painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either of you uh, exchange words over this? Oh no, I know, I know <laughs> That's what for happens. Later. <laughs> I know what happens is it goes through Viper's ponytail and it cuts the ribbon that's holding her ponytail so her hair falls down. <laughs> Any words, V? <laughs> v just shrugs with a big old Ray, oopsie why doopsie. Why do that? Oopsie doodle. You know what? I don't think Viper even realizes in the moment because she's got literally her hands full. So. I'm not gonna mention it! I'm not gonna mention it! <laughs> Nobody saw it! That's not <laughs> I just had this image of Greg, like, rolling around on the ground, two of his hands clutching his, like, the end of his leg, the other one, like, looking up at you, pointing accusingly as he continues to scream. Shut the fuck up, Greg! <laughs> you shut your awful little mouth! <laughs> Just you, uh, you know that reaction image of I think it's, uh, oh, <coughs> Donald Sutherland, from the movie, just like, yeah, just like <laughs> that, pointing at him, pointing at her. Uh, uh is at the end of <laughs> like in a, in, a, in a round or two, Viper is gonna be curious as to why she's suddenly having to put her hair out of her face. <laughs> Uh, does V do anything else? I believe that is all 
my actions other than uh, uh, reloading. Yeah, okay. What's Foxglove up to? She's gonna go run up and save her mommy. Yeah, how's she doing that? Uh, run up, get into... Well, what sphere are they in? Because the, the grapple, they enter the same... Oh, right. So they'd be in uh, the, the same space as Dorothy. Yeah. So she's going to run up to that space. It's pretty crowded now. Heavily uh, occupied square. It's just like one of those cartoon dust fights. <laughs> and like every so often Dorothy's head pucks, pokes out or like a squ- <laughs> pair of scorpion claws. Off. <laughs> Dorothy's head falls off. She's going to be so mad. Uh, and then... Okay, and it's flat-footed since it's in a grapple. Yeah, but she only got uh, four. Yeah, that <laughs> is a miss. Yeah. Okay, Viper, you are does, up. Does she initiate a second grapple? Oh. Uh, no, because its hands are not full because it's grappling Dorothy. And it's also once per round, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, time for Viper to grab that scorpion. <laughs> It is a dust pile! <laughs> you have to enter the square that it's in to do that. How many characters can we get in one square? At least four. <laughs> Every counts as more than one, though. I think this is just Viper picking up that dust ball and then just, like, her legs <laughs> poking out the bottom as her upper body is encased in the, like, scrum. <clears throat> All right, so that's a 16 because of fatigue. Okay. That's this thing's <coughs> athletics, three. So, yeah, that is correct. Okay. 12. Viper gets in there and has a hold yeah. of the scorpion, which has a hold of Dorothy, which is being uh, <laughs> attacked by Foxglove. Just picking it up by the tail. Just, ugh. <laughs> Uh, and grappling is a full round action, so that's all I can do is, uh... Well, except that since it's already in a grapple, to, like, I think you get a grapple action because it's already held. I don't think that's correct. No, it it is because, um, multiple grappling... Actually, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if you can grapple it. Because it's you, like you, up to two characters may grapple a smaller opponent, so there's nothing stopping Viper from okay, grappling. Yeah, it. and then so so then it's a group check. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cooperative check. Sorry, it's a cooperative check. Oh yes, and it does say that. Yeah. So you should get a grapple benefit since it's already held. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they don't have armor piercing on their tail, do they? Uh, no. Okay. Because that would be sick. (laughs) Oh, you're going to use it to stab it? (laughs) That's so cool! <laughs> you should do it anyway! <laughs> They're also immune to their own poison. <clears throat> uh, Are they immune to each other's poison? They're just immune to poison. <laughs> yeah, they're fair. just immune to poison. Oh, also you, you couldn't do that because that's a pinned move, which is the next level of grapple. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. Um... Okay, well, I think I will probably just, uh... Yeah, okay. I think I will just eat this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Which is gonna do... So you're gonna throw? My... Yes, I'm gonna throw it. Uh, which is gonna do my unarmed damage uh, with double strength bonus, so... 
Why double strength? It's this plus an uh, additional amount of damage. Oh, I see. I see. You're, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. It does your it does your regular unarmed damage plus your strength bonus. Again. Oh, what if you're picked up by the tail and you just smack it down? <laughs> in the next square. We'll see whether it makes this uh this uh death save or not. Oh. Um, let's see. It's gonna be. 13 damage. Hell yes. <laughs> okay, so that's 10. Unless Viper has armor piercing, which... <laughs> Not on unarmed. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. This, this damage really is coming from the earth more than it is Viper. <laughs> it passes that damage save. Um, it is out of the grapple now, though. Yeah, where are you moving it? I... Uh, Unfortunately, it says it has to be to an unoccupied square, so it's going to be, I think, right back where it started. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Aw. <laughs> now Dorothy and Viper just hugging. <laughs> <laughs> the cartoon dust cloud clears, and the two of you are holding each other. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Viper, Viper grabs it by the tail and yanks it up and slams it down. Which also pulls Dorothy and Foxglove into the air, and then Viper just sort of catches them out of the air. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. Viper catches Dorothy, and Dorothy catches Foxglove. Catches Foxglove. <laughs> Very good. Speaking of Dorothy, yeah. what are you going to do? Um, put me down, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saving that my life. That was the plan. <laughs> she gives a little kiss on your hand. Um, With uh, her completely inarticulate lips. <laughs> <laughs> More of a face a press. A face press, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she does a cat head butt. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then... Um, do these creatures count as undead? Uh, Did no. we get an official stance on They're this? elementals. Mm, they're okay. elementals. Alright. <laughs> I'll screw you two. Uh, I'm just, I guess I'll just magic missile them. Oh, how, are you splitting up 1d6 on each of them? or? What, what is that bacon? Uh... That's from their... The, the, <laughs> That's from the, the the flare spell you cast on them earlier. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it hit three of them. Yeah, okay. I'm going to attack the one that picked me up twice, and then I'm going to attack attack the the one on the opposite side of Fiker once. That is near to you? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll that damage. One, six, and three. Okay, so the first one does no damage at all. Second one does three points of damage. Let's see if it makes its damage save, which is very high now. Um, Thirteen is six. Sixteen. It passes. And then the other one takes also no points of damage. <laughs> Can't get through that tough hide of theirs. Okay, and your other half action? Accidentally making the hair grow on the outside of the carapace instead of the <laughs> There's a beautiful head of hair now. <laughs> Scorpion with a toupee. Sorry, I'm just looking for my will save. I've passed my will save. Um, Everything I'm thinking about doing is a full action. <laughs> uh, you don't want to just make an attack with your bar whip or something? I'd have to equip it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and then I'll cast Magic Missile again. Why not? <laughs> Spell points are there to use them. Mm. Wait, actually, I don't think double attack allows you to cast the same spell twice. It's, it's any spell. Does it actually say that? 
Well, you look up double class when I look up everything. Okay. It's because I, I think I remember that that was a thing the last time we played Fantasy Craft. Uh, it says you may cast a second spell during a round if you have sufficient remaining actions. You may use this ability a number of times per session equal to your starting action dice. Yeah. Wonder if it's a mage thing then. Um. Ah, okay, sure, go for it. It's not gonna do much. <laughs> four. So four. sorry, I forgot. So uh, again, two on the one. Two on the same same targets. Four, four, two. Okay, so the one on top takes no damage. The one on bottom takes one, and then one. Just incrementally killing it. Mm -hmm. It gets another 21 for its damage save, continuing to live. Finally it fails, and just has been hit by so many of these spells, it just starts looking like a tumbleweed. <coughs> Alright, you can take a 5 foot step at all, or are you good? I'm good for now. Okay. All right, it's the big boys' turns. Um, Viper, I think you can expect what is coming your way. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> See how many more twenties I can roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, first claw. Second claw, and the tail. All miss, of them miss, miss. Yeah, you're too dexterous. Uh, and then the big boy <laughs> facing off against Dog and Lance. Um, it's gonna switch things up and do two claws on Lance and one and the tail on Dog. So Lance, that's a hit on Lance. That's a miss on Lance, and that's a hit on Dog. So, the claw on Lance does 11 points of damage minus his armor. Um, Come on, Lance. Three. Um, so that's eight points of damage he takes. And what's his health rating? Four. Lance. He's not allowed to die. <laughs> Y'all didn't say that about Greg. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He gets a 17. He needed a 14. He survives. Good job, Lance. Woo! For now. Yeah, so that claw, he gets he gets battered by it, but he stays standing. And, um, let's see, dog got hit by the tail, and how much damage does the tail of these big boys do? Uh, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. 1d12 plus 3, 6 points of damage. Let's see what weakening poison does. You make a save for yeah. the poison. Yeah. Um, and unless they have like, isn't it unless they have venom master? It doesn't have an incubation rate. Um. I remember using poisons as a burglar. <laughs> unless you have as venom master. They take a long time. Yeah, the incubation period's an hour. Okay. We'll worry about this after combat then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
it'll be strength penalties of two at a time. Okay, anyways. Um, so if there was any monster that has Venom Master, though, <laughs> you'd think it would be these. <laughs> um, did I give them Venom Master? I did not. Uh, okay. Uh, Rookie mistake. <laughs> a lot to keep track of. Speaking of dog, <laughs> what's dog going to do after getting stabbed by this big old tail? It's going to bite the tail. Fair. <laughs> uh, that's a crit, which I will activate. <sighs> All right. How does dog kill this thing? <laughs> Rip the tail off. I had a feeling. So it's stab. Dog says my tail now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Starts fetch. Chewing on it. Yeah, I was gonna say, does he just immediately start eating it? <laughs> no, that's a that's a treat for later. Just, just he's already time. poisoned. He's fine. <laughs> you can't get more poisoned, right? <laughs> Dog can have a little scorpion as a treat. Little out. <laughs> okay, uh, and dog's other half action. One, two, three. There you go. Yeah. Actually, there. I'm glad I say Blitz. Lance doesn't get to battle anymore. <laughs> You're on Lance timeout, gets, Lance. Lance gets to sit down at a Capri Sun and <laughs> some orange slices and just good job, champ. You made it further than Greg. Well done. Didn't blow off your own foot. The bar started so low. <laughs> it really did. And and Greg just just limboed right, just dug a hole for himself. <laughs> Six just feet deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Viper. These scorpions are coming at you. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. First set of attacks. What's is it, your defense is at twenty three, right? Twenty three right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So no hits from the first one. Second one, I'm gonna activate hey, that. That's another Oof. natural twenty. Oof. I didn't help but notice. That's the problem when your defense is so high, right? Is that they can't help hit you unless they crit. <laughs> right. Um, it's other two attacks miss, and the last one gets another crit. Oh. Hey, that's Ugh. another natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> For that one with right. the tail. Let's roll these bones. Okay, so... Was that the big one? Was the last one the big one? Uh, no, these were the, the, the smaller oh, scorpions. Those, those were just the small ones? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, <laughs> the, the crit claw does seven points of damage. Okay. And then the crit tail does nine. Alright. Uh, so. What are your wounds at? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Viper is down <laughs> to one wound point. <laughs> Remember, zero wounds is not death. Oh, yeah, I know. She's been there many times. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's the crew's turn. Um, I'm just picturing Viper with like the tail pierced right through her. Okay, <laughs> uh, Billiam's gonna fire two arrows. It's rough. <coughs> he hits both times. Come on, Billiam, yeah! Six and a five. Uh, does it fail its first damage save? Uh, it passes that, and then the second damage save, uh, it passes that. <laughs> the scorpion refuses to die. In a cushion. 
Yeah, it's just so full of arrows at this point from Billium. Um, what's everyone else going to do? Uh, let's see. Greta and Amber, they move up so that they have clear shots with their bows. And Greta's going to shoot at the same one that Billium has been. Uh, misses her shot, and Amber is going to shoot at the one um, on the opposite side, and misses her shot or their shot. Um, everyone else is reloading their crossbows, uh, except for Lance, who is going to move in. <laughs> no, Lance. <laughs> Three, four, five. Look, he's all he sees is his buddy getting royally fucked up. Has Mabel just been observing this whole time? Crossbows have load seven. Fair. <laughs> yeah, and she only has two hands. Yeah. <laughs> Unrelatable. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Inconceivable, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay, so that's the crew's turn. V, what are you going to do? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> well, I feel less good about shooting into a crowd now. <laughs> Especially with a boarding pistol, since that has spread and is guaranteed to hit adjacent targets. Uh-huh. Um, I do still have a musket and a derringer, which don't have that, but... Mm -hmm. um, um, I also do have a moose, is the thing. <laughs> um, so I think what I might do is I might just kind of ride up in there. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, times five, which is 45, which I think I can just do. Yeah, I think um, Gentleman Moose's speed is 50, so. Yeah. It's a little crowded to be doing, like, tramples. I don't want to do that, because I got people there. Yeah, there is no way to do a trample and not run over your own folk. Yeah, um... I do want to show up, and I do want to maul with, uh... with Gentleman Moose's, uh... antlers. Mm-hmm. Uh, get that... See if Gentleman Moose can fell this immortal scorpion just covered in arrows. And hair. <laughs> oh, oh, it's uh, d20 plus 3. Okay. That makes it plus 4 because of less, right? d20 plus 4. Whoops. Why would that happen? That was very exciting. Okay. Fourteen. That is just enough to hit. Nice. Uh, which is four is two eight plus two lethal. Which is fifteen. <laughs> uh, so that's plus twelve damage. Uh, DC twenty three. This thing needs to get a 19 or 20 to pass. And oh, it does. Yeah, it, well, it does. Well, good job, Scorpion. You're unkillable. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. If, if, if this were a different game, I would suggest maybe this 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 Scorpion should be a rival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's Foxglove up to? Uh, gonna get into the bacon... Uh, <laughs> the bacon scorpions uh, underfoot, and then going to attack. Okay. Uh, for nine. That's a miss. Okay. Yeah, that's everything. Viper, you're up. Okay. Well, is it going to try to grapple it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Forgot about that. 18. Is Foxglove grappled? 
No. <laughs> Too slippery, that rat. Mm -hmm. I've tried to pick them up before. They're squirming. All my, all my animals are well oiled. <laughs> <laughs> They're covered in raincoats and just doused with that oil. <laughs> this is how you care for the organic, yes? Says mm -hmm. Dorothy. A uh, couple centuries out of familiarity. Okay, Viper. I'm attempting to chop this big scorpion. I like the idea that the last uh, animal you took you took care of with any kind of action is was like a duck. You just gotta make sure them them uh, feathers are well oiled, right? That's so they float, so they float. Okay, that first axe chop was a miss, but the second one was a twenty. Not natural twenty, just twenty total. Okay, well let's see if it grabs you. Mm, yeah, good point, good point. So... Back up to athletics. Oh, wow. Almost certainly does not. No, it does not. Okay, yeah. So then you hit it with the axe. Mm -hmm. Roll that damage. Gotta get back down there. Go. Uh, well, that'd be plus one from two handing, but then minus one from fatigue, so still the same. Eleven. Okay. All right. Let's see if it makes a damage save. Uh, it does not. Needed nineteen. All right. So you put a big old gash in that sucker, but it's still standing. Dorothy, you're up. If I increase uh, Viper's wounds, will she gain those wounds by increasing her con? <coughs> oh, uh, n no, she would get temporary wound points. Yeah, so she would get more wounds. And as soon as the spell wore off, she'd lose those wounds. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cast I'm gonna Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cast Brawn. So you're gonna get plus three to your con, which will give you three times one point five wounds. Four wounds. Okay. Temporarily? Yeah. Okay. Um and I think I do actually have to roll for this one. Let's see if I can cast it. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 35, I hope that's good enough. Yeah. Um, oh. Good. Okay. And I'm just not cursed. Excellent. Okay, so I have four. That's four temporary wound points. Yes. Okay. And then... I'm going to equip my bar whip. Okay. All right. Now it's the score, the big scorpion's turn. The last one. It's coming at you, Viper. That's why I feel invigorated. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm four times as tough as I was a second ago. So. <laughs> Uh, what's your defense at? 22? Uh, because of fatigue? Is that... Oh yeah, because of fatigue, 22. Yeah. Okay, so it hits you once with a claw. Not a crit. Just a regular hit. I can take a few of those. <laughs> For nine... Oh, your vitality... Oh, sorry, go ahead. For nine points of damage. Your vitality should go up as well. whatever your constitution modifier would have increased times your level. Okay, Ooh, so that's a lot of vitality. That's a 12. Okay. And... Okay, so that leaves me with five of those temporary vitalities left, which leaves me at a total 36. And give me an athletics check. Let's see if it gets a hold of you with that claw. Yeah. 
it gets a 23. Oh, uh, that's within range. It might work. Ah, uh, no, 29. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Dog's turn. Uh, dog is going to attack... Uh... <laughs> the one that's full of arrows? Yeah, the one that's full of arrows. Uh, it's going to come in at the last minute and kill Steel. Yeah. <laughs> 21. Uh, that is <laughs> that is a it hit. Is, it's like super duper flanked now, if that matters, but I don't think that matters when we roll that. <laughs> Seven damage. Seven damage. All right. It takes four. Okay. Will it fail this damage save? It needs to be DC 25 on a 1D20 plus four. <laughs> it fails at last. Excellent. It didn't fail by much, though. Mm -hmm. It's still 21. God, the scorpion. We definitely brute forced that one. It died angry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> died harder than Greg. Um, so a 13 to attack the other scorpion, and it's also flanked, remember. Yeah, that'll be a hit with the flank. Okay, good. And then for... For seven damage again. Okay. All right. Let's see if this one is as tough. Uh, it at least survived this initial onslaught of teeth from dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, now it's the small scorpion's turns. There's only two of them left. Um. They're pretty focused on Viper, so I think they're going to just keep going for her. Bring it on. I mean, most of us are focused on Viper. That's what I'm here for. One hit with the tail. Let's see one hit. Okay. No problem. Five points of damage. Three points of damage. Three. Okay. All right, um, now it's the crew's turn. Uh, let's see. All right, whole bunch, six arrows going at the one um, away <laughs> on the opposite side from Lance. Uh, so the first two uh, from Billiam. One of those hits. Does one point of damage. One damage. Will it? That's a save, though. Yep, that it is. Which it passes, unfortunately. Okay. Four <laughs> shots from your guides. Greta and Amber. It's one hit. Er, two hits. Two hits. bit more damage and a five and a four uh, which becomes a four and a three <laughs> passes the first damage save uh oh uh oh we got another one <laughs> <laughs> and it passes the second damage save just barely uh oh <laughs> Um, and see, I knew the little one. Th see, this is why we were creeped out by the little ones. <laughs> we were correct. <laughs> okay, Lance. Um, that's an attack of yeah, yeah, plus six. Okay, Lance is going to. Oh, does he have any special? Does he have any feats? 
for combat. Um, all out attack and combat instincts. Neither. What the hell do those do? <laughs> <laughs> um. Feats. Melee combat feats. All out attack. Uh, penalty to your attack to, for increased damage and combat instincts. Uh, oh, combat instincts. This would have been good to remember. If an adjacent opponent attacks you and misses, you gain a free attack against them for half I damage. He was, so he was canonically taking it easy on that giant scorpion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He had to warm up first. Lance was toying with the scorpion. <laughs> well, he hits this one twice. Uh, for no damage. His blows do not get through its armor. Unfortunately. <laughs> He's putting in the work, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's putting in the work. Okay. Uh, Maybell has finally finished reloading. <laughs> Um, and she is going to, where's she going to get a clear shot at these things? There is nowhere for her to get a clear shot. Um, she's just <laughs> going to stay up on the hill, aim, and then try and negate that, uh, to hit penalty a little bit for distance. Um, all right. She misses. <laughs> seven turns, or seven actions reloading, and then misses her shot. You know what? what? She still has both of her feet, though, so. Yep. Honestly, honestly, Maybell, I feel you. I was there not long ago. <laughs> I do. Okay, V, what are you going to do? Speaking of... Uh, Feeling a kindred spirit with Maybell and her crossbow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna uh, swing around here. Um, and uh, take this uh, boarding pistol and shoot it in the direction of this big um, scorpion that's still standing. Um. Yeah. I'm worrying about your phrasing considering the last shot. I, I, okay. There is <laughs> nobody in this spread. I have, except <laughs> for scorpions, there is no one. I did position myself tactically this time. <laughs> and you'll actually get to hit both of them. So, okay, here we go. Actually, Fox Club is in your spread. Um, no, no. No? Okay, good. No. <laughs> Fuck. And. Well, also, that is another crit, I believe. Oh, well done. <laughs> do you. Uh, do which you... I do. I have one last one, and I will spend it. Okay, so you kill the biggin. <laughs> you blow a hole through it. Uh, and then the other, the little, the little one is going to have to make a reflex save, DC 26, or suffer half the damage you rolled. Uh, what is, resilience 3. It literally can't pass. <laughs> Cannot get <laughs> DC 26. Um, uh. So... It just eats six points of damage as it gets caught with the spray. And let's see if it survives. It does not. The spray takes it down. Cool. <laughs> I do get a half action, but I am <laughs> poorly positioned now. Uh. Dang it. It could be a move action. <laughs> sure. It's your other half action just to say, uh, uh, well, Viper, rest is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wait, you did move. I did. I did, but uh, I critted, so I get another half action. Oh, that's right. Oh. God. Uh, it was good to have a mummy finger. Yeah. It is good. <laughs> it is good sometimes. Um, but I really, unless I, like, five foot stepped here, I think I could maybe get an angle on that on that scorpion with the derringer. Well, the thing is, is that if you move, you can't take a five foot step. Right, yeah, which I've already done. So, um, I'm, hmm, just gonna, can I, wait, yeah, no, that doesn't, well, okay, well, <laughs> you could always just shout duck. <laughs> I, I don't have, I don't think there's another thing I can do here. I mean, you, I so... you can shoot at it and Viper will provide it cover. Austin. <laughs> How many wounds are you up to, buddy? <laughs> look, look, Viper's got f five wound points. How much vitality, I think, is the more important question. Um, 40. <coughs> so this won't be a one shot kill. <laughs> okay. Well, I got no matter what. Injured. One shot, wrong kill. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna take this slow-mo second to just kind of observe my work and enjoy myself and be pleased for 2.5 seconds. Okay. As, well, as much as I hate to let the go to waste, I'm not gonna fucking shoot my friend for no reason. Yeah, because if you had rolled a 1, I could have had the, the, the crit failure hit Lance instead. So yeah, I'm good. <laughs> to be clear, I would not have done that, it would have hit Viper. Um. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll hit the one we're not. <laughs> I mean, how much cover could Viper really give, considering how full of holes she is right now? <laughs> okay, it's Foxglove's go. Yeah. Uh, Foxglove is going to scurry up into its space and bite. Yep. Uh, That's a hit. Yeah. <coughs> Seven damage. Okay, so will Foxglove get the last hit? No. Aww. Nope, it's still alive. Sorry, sweetie. Viper. Oh, is it going to grapple? Oh, yes. Thank you for the reminder. Make that athletics check. Uh, I think it. I think it gets it. Yeah. So it's got a hold of foxglove. Well, I know what Viper's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Grappling that fool. Mm-hmm. Ooh, bad roll though. Sixteen total. Ah, it also gets a sixteen, and because it's smaller, it avoids you. Yep. Well. Shit. Dorothy, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Whipping that sucker. Get a five foot step so that I'm not whipping through Viper. Mm hmm. If I get a melee kill, uh, I will be very pleased. <laughs> Your first in the campaign, perhaps? Perhaps. Oh, sorry, that's my damage roll, not my to hit. Um, wow. D8 yeah. minus one? That's not promising for getting through that armor. <laughs> it has AP2. Oh. oh. Uh, where do I find my to hit roll? It's okay. I found it. I found it. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, I got a critical fail. How many more action dice you got there, Austin? One. Give it to me. Uh, well, you're not directly across from Dorothy. Lance no. is. Well, technically, I would say it would probably hit Foxglove. That's true. Foxglove Fox is... Foxglove is in the same square. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So roll your damage, which I'm sure Foxglove will be fine, considering your damage output. Uh, two. Well, you're the one who keeps track of Foxglove's <laughs> vitality. 
All right, and your other half action? Magic missile. <laughs> Not gonna try another swing with the old bar whip? <laughs> No, I got my head around. Uh, so that's uh, four, four, and three. So one, one, and nothing. Uh, uh, and 14, 15. It passes both its damage saves. Okay, dog's turn. Dog doing a bite, two bite. Uh, first hits for. <laughs> I I specifically chose not to include Meat Child because there is just way too many pieces on the board. <laughs> God, yeah, that would have been. It's too much. Uh. Uh, four damage. Oh, so that's one. Which is enough to force a damage save. Which it passes. Okay, never hit for uh, seven damage. So four damage. Okay. And it passes that damage save too. <laughs> you really did get another one of these immortal scorpions. <laughs> They were siblings <laughs> yeah. from the same brood, the toughest brood in all of whatever island we're on. I forgot. <laughs> Pekar's folly. Okay, Foxglove needs to make a uh, grapple check. No problem. Fun fact, Pekar's um, folly fail. is actually trying to kill a scorpion. That's the folly. <laughs> yeah. So I fail. Okay. So it's going to inflict. It, it's holding Foxglove and stabs her with its tail. Doing. Nine points of damage. Okay. And Foxglove is poisoned. Mm -hmm. And Foxglove is out. Out of uh -huh. wounds? Yep. What's Foxglove at? Minus five. Oof. Mm hmm. She'll be fine. I know she's immortal. Well, no, because I'm going to bend time and space itself to save her, so. <laughs> 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 and also, she's immortal. <laughs> Everlasting. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lance's turn. Uh, Lance is like, I'll save What are you doing? I like that rat. And he hits Austin, it. Austin, you're giving me feelings. <laughs> <laughs> he chops it twice. Uh, but is unable to get through its Still armor. Still does no damage. Oh. No. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Amber is going to move over. <laughs> The entire party. This is preposterous. It's not one buck. <laughs> There's now Just like trying to desperately stomp it. <laughs> we can't 13 do it. characters trying to kill one. <laughs> <laughs> one scorpion. <laughs> Billiam hits once. Uh, remember, it is flanked. Right, yes. Okay, Billiam hits twice. And flat footed. It's no longer flat footed because it's out of a grapple. Okay. William does good damage. Alright, come on. Come on, boy. <laughs> um, deal the deal, bud. Finally, it fails its damage save. Ugh. No. Bring it in, William. William, finally, after all these arrows, finally gets a kill. And it drops to the ground right next to Foxglove. So, uh... <laughs> I guess everyone... Viper just kind of stumbles 
backwards and falls on her ass. Yeah, I think that's... I was gonna say, I think that's what, like, <laughs> most of the crew does. Everyone just, like, slumps to the ground. Greg is... has shut up by this point. Um... Maybell runs over to him, but, like, <coughs> looks at you, V, and shakes her head. Well, I'm running through the fields of uh, scorpion corpses to stabilize my poor dying pet. Yeah. What's the stabilization roll? It's a 15 to stabilize on a medic medicine check. Um, and then there's penalties if it's a creature that's... A different, different species, species right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna spend my last action die to improve this roll. I don't need it, but I spent it. <laughs> okay, Fox Love is stabilized. What does that mean? Uh, she goes back to zero wounds and is unconscious. Okay. Well, now I'm. Cool. I, I open my mouth and I put her in my skull, and she's safe in there. She's a nice little nest. Don't judge. Stand, it's a standard it's rat so care fucking procedures. Weird. <laughs> I don't judge you for not opening your body up and storing your animal in there, so maybe you can not take judgment. <laughs> My way of doing this. It's like, uh, Dorothy, did you just eat that rat? <laughs> no, it's fine, because, um... <laughs> She's got, like, a little nice, like, rest in there. She just needs to heal up. Dorothy doesn't have, like, a functional tongue, right? Or, or like, be. vocal cords. So her mouth, her speech wouldn't be impeded by having... Hey, until, she you still guys do a, until you guys do an autopsy on this thing, I get to make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> See, the other version is that she, she just makes the noise like she's got something in her mouth. Mm -hmm. It makes people more comfortable if they think I have an active tongue. <laughs> like the humans do. <laughs> Is that what makes people comfortable? Mm -hmm. Active tongues. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. She's got. <laughs> She's oh, something. No, don't worry about it. It's got. It, it's moving in there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's things going on in there. Don't worry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Organic things. Okay. So, everyone, I think just takes a breather. Everyone, sound off. You're still alive. <laughs> Everyone. I'm going to make a couple of... Uh, I'm going to use up the rest of my skill po uh, spell points. Healing up uh, Fox Club until I become too cursed to do so. <laughs> Let's see how long that will take. Okay. One. Yeah. The rest of the crew, they, uh, you know, call out their names. Um, okay. Except for one of them. Except for old, old Greg the Gaff. Yeah. I, I have plans for him. <laughs> well, I'm. I'll just say shit like. I'm just gonna take like <laughs> <laughs> <just> gonna <laughs> the gun off of his body because he don't. He, well, he didn't need it in the first place. As it turns out, would have been better off. Yeah. In retrospect, it. it was wildly irresponsible to let him have one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what else is he carrying, just out of curiosity? Okay. I don't feel bad about it, because he was talking about, uh, robbing houses earlier, so... <laughs> okay, What's so, he, he also had the crossbow from the, okay. from the armory. Uh, he's got a sap. Uh, he's got a flask full of booze. Nice. Uh, he's got three uses of knockout poison. And, uh, one C and one L treasure. I have to look up what that is. Um, 230. Uh, we did a whole round of, of writing up last rites before we left, right? Pretty um, sure we did that. Of like what to do when one of these one of these folks dies, I'm almost positive we we like spent the time to do that. Yeah, um, I believe so. Okay. okay. 
Any any directives on this one? Sorry, any what? Uh, directives. Uh, For what to do uh, with his stuff? Yeah. What 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 do you what do you write in his last wishes? Um, I want everything sure. buried with me. <laughs> Listen, I'll respect it. Um. Don't touch my shit. Uh, I think in his will he says that um, he had a sister on the western island and if you find her give her his stuff right. but if not give it split it amongst the crew <laughs> yeah 100% 0% is the split <laughs> never said equally <laughs> Um, also, good news, fam. Fox Club is at full health now. Nice. Is what? <laughs> at full health. <laughs> Both health and vitality. <laughs> and I didn't have to use up all my spell casting. Huh. Okay. Uh, someone give me. Uh, let's see. How does this role work? Viper has crawled into the stream <laughs> and is. <laughs> Letting the water... <laughs> it's just letting water. the mud bury her. <laughs> can, I, can, yes. I some, can, I, can I help you with some medicine there? Is, She's like that... letting the water wash over her as she pulls the fucking stingers out of her leg and her <laughs> gut. Someone give me 2d20 to see what Greg had on him other than the sap, the booze, and the poison. 34. An 18 and a 16. Uh... So three times. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, Greg. He put <laughs> he, on the ship. <laughs> he had 120 silver on him. Um, and he also had... 16. Uh, give me another d20 roll. You got a 20. Holy shit. <laughs> he had a diamond on him worth 20 times 25 silver. What? <laughs> he was holding like an imperial crown jewel. What the fuck? Craig the Gap, who are you? Now you'll never know! What a good con man! Well, technically we can find out. That, that diamond's worth 500 silver, and he also had 120 silver on him. Ooh. So I guess V, uh, put into your inventory 120 silver, Greg's don't touch, and... <laughs> Uh, a diamond worth 500 silver, also marked Greg's Don't Touch. That loads. You know what? I'm gonna write that down. For uh, comparison, Greg's. for anyone listening, Viper only has 35 silver in the bank. <laughs> 500 in her silver savings user? account. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the diamond was worth 500 silver. You got the highest possible roll. Jesus. I think he would have wanted us to have it. <coughs> Technically, it's oh my Greg's sister's God. now. I'm pretty sure Greg's sister would have wanted us to have it. Hold, so I'm looking at... So I, he had one coin item and one loot <laughs> item. And I'm looking at... like what was in the range that you po could have possibly rolled for the loot because that's where the gem came from you literally got the most expensive thing in range by rolling a 16 and then you rolled huh. the highest possible value wow i mean there are things that are worth more but it's only stuff that you get if you have like extreme bonuses to the treasure roll because it's like in their lair or something yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and pat Viper on the knee and give her uh, one wound back. Oh, uh, speaking of, did you want to maybe uh, doctor's attention? 
at all, or is have we spent that already? No, you can you can make a medicine um, check for first aid. I've I've got man of reason, so as long as I, you know. Uh, before you do that, um, <laughs> I'm gonna spend all these action die that I never got to use because oh, I never Jesus. rolled a crit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll brag about it. So let's see how much Vital she's gonna grow back eight wounds over the next six seconds or so, and twenty-one vitality. <laughs> deep breaths, Viper. Deep breaths. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and V. That's why, as she as she's laying in the stream, you see little shoots and stuff start growing out of her and absorbing all that nice fresh uh, scorpion blood tainted water. <laughs> Gonna go around picking up uh, like loose fingers that flew off during the grapples. Was <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy just like being shaken apart? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Foxglove is already out and looking for more crackers. Dorothy does not let crackers in her head. <laughs> That's so fair. The medicine check is what twenty one. Yeah, so you heal 2d6, uh, split between your wounds and vitality. This is six. Six, so three each. Eight. Yeah. Um, could I get one of those, please? Can you, will you tape my fingers back on? <laughs> Put yeah. some school glue in there. More than once a session, I don't remember how medicine works. Uh, uh, you can you can do it to multiple people, but the same person cannot be targeted more than once every like every day. Every twenty-four hours. Every twenty-four oh, gotcha. hours. Yeah. Okay. Oh come on. <laughs> it's that's fair. So that's a natural one. I don't have any action dice to fuck that up because you would have dealt the one d six damage to Dorothy. <laughs> right. um, but it so also it's still twenty-one. No, rolling a oh error, error doesn't work. Yeah, rolling an error means that Man of Reason does not kick in. That's fair. I, you know what? I go over. I like. I, I've got my. I've got my kit, and I open it up, and I look at you, and I'm like, "Didn't pack the blowtorch." <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I would need it. Is the thing. That's okay. I'm. All things considered, I'm okay. Yeah. I'll just put these fingers in my pocket and, um... <laughs> yeah, you hang on to those. We'll, yeah. We'll figure something out. Probably they'll have something at the temple. Mabel could give it a try. Yeah. Mabel could give it, yeah. Well, no, Dorothy's been treated, so... I thought it was couldn't receive the benefit. Maybe I misremembered that. Yeah, you can... I'm pretty sure it's you can only be targeted once per... Mm. Okay, um, so I think everyone's just sort of like, because it's still the middle of the night, right? Mm -hmm. um, you've all been doing this fight by, like, firelight and uh, Dorothy's flare spell. <laughs> um, and so I think everyone's just, like, collapsing in exhaustion and uh, trying to get back to sleep. Those who... <laughs> Uh, aren't on watch. Um, and that is where we are going to call the session for this week. Uh, Y'all get 1,470 XP from that fight. <coughs> um, so I'll take us back to the talk screen. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone so much for joining us on this scorpion-filled adventure. Uh, I have been your host and GM, Austin Ramsey, and this stream has been presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a rotating cast. You can find both it and myself on Twitter at NotAnInn, that's N-O-T-A-N-I-N-N. -N. 
And if you'd like to find any of my game design work, you can find it at austin-ramsay.itch.io. Uh, keep an eye out for my upcoming Kickstarter for my game Beam Saber, which will be launching March 2nd. I have been joined this evening by, of course, Christine. Hi, I'm Christine. Um, I created the You Don't Meet Me, you don't meet in the podcast, and sometimes I post on the Twitter, but not often. And it looks like we finally leveled up, so it is officially over for you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess Dorothy's going to be getting a lot of scary spells now, huh? Yeah, um, and I guess more some self-promotion. I've been doing a lot of voice work uh, lately, and if you want some voice work, contact the Twitter or the email at, at you don't meet in at gmail.com, and I will, I work for pennies. Give me some pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Christine's great. You can hear her voice in any of the mm -hmm. podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, also joining us this evening has been Sasha. Hello, I've been Sasha the whole time. Yay! Um, you can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore Renault. You can follow my game design stuff at t -Cabbage. And you should, because it's cool stuff. Yeah. And last but never least, Hadrian. That's me. Find me on them Twitters at Hadrian, uh, just like the wall and the emperor. And I'll take money in exchange for art. Or I'll just take money, yeah. whichever yeah. you prefer. <laughs> you could throw money at literally anyone at the, on this podcast. Just, mm -hmm. just an FYI. Just a fun <laughs> fact for you. If you're on episode 27, means you've been enjoying it, maybe consider it. Thanks. <laughs> I, I tried to get Austin to add a kickstarting goal in which he just rubs the money all over his body sensuously, but he said it would send the wrong message, which is bullshit. It says the right message, Austin. Also, on that note, I noticed that two of you are wearing uh, special shirts. I don't know if I'm in frame. You are. Yeah, the there you go. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. <laughs> We're in the Beam Saber shirts, uh, which you can find on Redbubble. Uh, just look for Beam Saber RPG, and you can find Beam Saber merch. Um, anyways, thank you everyone so much for joining us again on this scorpion-filled adventure. We will be back again next Friday at 6 p.m. EST on this Twitch channel. Uh, until then, I just want to remind everyone, don't get sparked. See y'all later. Really, I forgot it was happening and I missed it. And I, I'm sorry. I failed you. I failed everyone. I failed myself. Damn it. Fuck. Shit. I even left in the pause expecting someone to try and cut me off. I said something. I said something about my internet's not working that great. <laughs> to the point where it keeps breaking and it sounded like Sasha in... in Ins rage just like destroyed my internet. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>